Mm. Well, thanks for the brew. Are you sure you wouldn't like me to come with you to the hospital later? No, no, Dad, thanks. Uh, Carl has already offered, but it's only a routine follow-up. Yes. What do you think you're doing? Sorry, look, I thought I'd locked the door. And on that bombshell, I'm off. Dad! Call the police now! Why? What on earth's happened? Yasmin's hairy lodger is sat on our box smoking! Ah. Oh. <laughs> I did say she could stay the night in Amy's room. What? Well, he had nowhere to go and it was late. Sorry. I should have mentioned it. Yeah, you should have done. And while you were at it, you should have told him how to lock our bathroom door. My fault. It won't happen again. Too right it won't, because you're chucking him out on his ear. Look, I'm sorry. Can I just apologise for that regrettable incident upstairs? Uh, don't even think about coming any closer. And who said you could wear our Amy's old dressing gown? Oh, um, I thought it was spare. I I'm sorry. I'll, uh, I'll take it off. No, don't. I've seen enough of you as it is. Just leave it on your way out and I'll... Fumigate it later. What were you thinking? Not locking the door. I thought I had locked it. it, it that, that catch is dead fiddly, you know. And what's this about you smoking? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, um, I'm sorry about that. Uh, you know, I gave up ages ago, but sometimes I, I like to sneak a crafty one on the cars. He takes me back to me navy days. Anyway, how about I make us a full English? My way of saying thank you for letting me crash last night. In the circumstances, perhaps now is not the best time. Oh, no, no. Look, look come on, I'll, um, I'll throw some keks on and then I'll rustle us up a treat. Should get me back into Tracy's good books, eh? Yeah, but if I can have a word first. Ah, 